Hi friends. My favorite solar generator portable power supply company sent me their newest model from AFRI. It's the 2800W portable power station. It's labeled the P280. And why is it my favorite company? Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. The first review I did for this was the P210. And in doing my research about the company, I found out that they're highly respected worldwide. Really popular power supply in Europe. Down here on the box, it says U.S., U.K., that's England, China, uh, Europe, Australia. Highly respected all over the world. And after using their products for a year, I'm beginning to understand why. My son ran the big swamp cooler in his greenhouse all summer here in southern Arizona with their AFRI P310, and it worked flawlessly. The P210 that runs my off-grid workshop here, I've had it for over a year. I was gone for five, six months uh, down to my home in Mexico. The solar panels on the outside kept it charged. Came back, 100%, touched it, lights came on, everything was good. It runs my power saws, my lights, my battery chargers, everything in my off-grid workshop here just fine. The little AFRI power supply, 100 watt. As you know, I recently flew up to Rapid City, South Dakota, to retrieve my new Ram Pearlmaster van and drive it back here to Arizona. And on the flight up, I was pulled aside because of that power supply by the TSA. And uh, they, as my uh, carry-on went through the scanner, they took me aside, pulled that thing out of my uh, carry-on and uh, asked me a question, what is this? I said, well, it's a power supply. And they turned it over and read the bottom of it. And then the guy asked me a question. I knew there was going to be a question, but I didn't anticipate what question it was going to be. His question was, hey, that's cool. How much did it cost? <laughs> I said, uh, I don't know. I think it's around $70. And he looked at it. He turned it up. He said, Afri, that's the name of the company? I said, yeah, Afri.com. I think I sold one at the airport to the TSA guy. Anyway, Afri, uh, I'm, uh, I've got uh, one, two, three. Now, this will be the fourth one of theirs. And uh, let's talk about the new one. The P280 is the same footprint and battery capacity as the P210, but it has some added new features. The inverter output is pure sine wave for the AC output, up to 2,800 watts. App control function, you can run it with your phone. Multiple safety features, including short circuit overheating, overcurrent, overvoltage, and more. And one of the mores is low temperature charging protection. It shuts itself off so you can't charge it where it will hurt itself. Supercharged by inverter. You can actually charge this up to 1800 watts out of AC and at the same time 1200 watts out of solar. Charge it really fast. A 4.9 inch large digital screen. We'll take a look at that. Low battery reminder. Uh, shuts itself off at 10% so that it doesn't go completely dead like some of my other ones. Battery management system. That's part of that and a huge capacity of 2,048 watt-hours. says here you can run your lights, tablet, drone, laptop, mobile phone, camera, TV, mini fridge, fan, mini split, hot blanket, electric vehicle. I'll have to see that one. It does have a 30 amp plug that you can plug your RV into. I saw another video where a guy had 15 different things plugged into this power supply at the same time. We're going to plug it into my table saw that dims the lights at my house in Mexico when I turn it on. And if it'll run that table saw, it'll run anything I've got to run. Let's get it out of the box. So far, I've identified three improvements that interest me in this model, the 2800W. 
P280. Um, the increased capacity of the inverter from 2400 to 2800. My 40 foot diesel pusher monocle Windsor motorhome only has a 3000 watt inverter in it. This has a 2800 watt inverter in it. Pretty impressive for the size of the box here. A second improvement is the capacity to run it with your phone with the app. And the third thing would be that I've read it has a 30 amp plug so you can plug your RV into it. What do we got here? AFRI Portable Power Station User Manual. AFRI App. Oh, get the app. Added extended warranty. It has a two year warranty. When you register, you can get an extra five years. A seven year warranty on a power supply. That's competitive. That says to me that AFRI thinks it's going to last. Supposedly, power supplies like this and lithium batteries of this kind of capacity last for 10 years. That's based upon 4,000 cycles, which is 10.6 or 10.8 years. If you used it 365 days a year and you discharged it and charged it, I'm gone six months a year. <laughs> it should last me 20 years. And here we have a, a dust cover. We're in Arizona. Dust cover is a good deal. It's always dusty here. And in this nice little case, ah, the cords. Power supply to hook it up to AC in your house or a generator to charge it at 1800 watts. Amazing. The solar cables with the MC4 connectors. And you can use both of those at the same time. 1200 here, 1800 here, charging at, what's that? 28, what else? It weighs 48 pounds, so I'm gonna put it on the floor and lift it out of the box. Ta-da! One of those silica gel desiccant packs. And here we go. Like I said, it's the same footprint as the 210, but more features. Twenty-four percent. Well, I'm going to charge it up. I plugged that new power supply into this 400 watt AFRI solar panel yesterday about 3 o'clock and it was 24% and uh, it was 73%. I got up this morning at 9.30 and it's 100% charged. The P280 2800W has two inputs for solar charging, which means you could have two uh, 400 watt panels plugged in. It'll actually take two 600 watt panels for a total of 1200 watts of solar going in to charge. And if you plugged it into the wall in your house or you plugged it into your generator it'll take up to 1800 watts of charge charging it up really fast the math on that if you're charging at 1800 watts for an hour that would be 88 percent of the 2048 watt hours it's capable of uh, of course there are some inefficiencies in there but Hey, a couple hours, it's going to charge up for sure from dead to full charge. If you charge it with a 400-watt solar panel, again, 2,000 divided by 400 watts, about five hours. Um, and that was kind of my experience in charging it up with the solar panel on the outside of the shed here yesterday. Speaking of fully discharged or dead, this power supply has a 
watt hour capacity of 2048. Now, before I had lithium batteries, this RV, all 40 foot of it, ran on lead acid batteries like this. These are Full River 250 amp hour golf cart batteries. I paid about uh, $1,200 for those. I used them five years and they were losing their capacity. Their original new capacity was 250 times four, but they're six volt batteries. So a thousand amp hours divided by two to make 12. And with a lead acid or an AGM, you should only use about 50% of its capacity. So we're down to 250 amp hours. 250 amp hours times 12 volts is 3,000 watt hours. 2,048 watt hours. Two thirds of the capacity of those big old heavy things. They weigh 78 pounds a piece. That's 310 pounds for all four of them versus 48 pounds. New technology is amazing. And they didn't have this nice big 4.9 inch display that tells you what all's going on, what's coming in, what's going out, and which power source you have turned on, how much it's charged, how long it's going to take to discharge for whatever you're using. It didn't have a light either. Or a strobe light. Those old batteries, you needed a bunch more things. You needed two watt cables. You needed a big smart shunt. You needed a huge fuse. And you still didn't get all the information you're getting off of this screen right here. Technology is amazing. And that's just the beginning of replacing that with AGM or lead acid batteries. I've got a 3000 watt Xantrex inverter charger in my RV. It costs $3,000. I know because I had to replace it once. I have a, a MPPT Victron solar charger, 300 and some dollars. Uh, the cables to hook all those batteries together and hook them to the inverter. A couple of hundred dollars, big heavy cables. Uh, circuit breakers, fuses, $75. Um, a smart shunt, $150. I'm not even going to count the $1,100 iPhone that I used to be able to look at that smart shunt. Including the batteries, that's another $1,200. I don't know what we're up to, but it's probably close to five grand to replace what's in that box. And that's why in my new red van, there's going to be an AFRI power supply instead of all those other things. And I didn't even count the labor putting all those other things together to make them work right. All I have to do here is plug in. It's plug and play power. It's a grid in a box. Here are the four 120 volt AC receptacles. That's the 30 amp plug that you can plug your RV into. This output is for hooking up expansion batteries. You can expand this with extra batteries up to over 10,000 watt hours. Technology is amazing. Let's try out the app. It's called Bright EMS Lifestyle. This is uh, the app store on my iPhone. You can also get it on Google Play. I've got my uh, DJI microphone hooked up to the USB-A port. I've got my leaf blower battery plugged into the AC port. And I'm ready to plug into AC to charge. So let's turn it on and see what happens. You can see we have 96% uh, left in the battery. And if we hit the USB output button, it'll turn on the microphone over here plugged into the USB. And it see it says it's taking one watt. And if we scroll down and turn on the AC output, you heard a little click over there. 
Then you can see we get a graphic for the AC output, and we're now putting out 5 watts. And if I plug in to the AC power to charge it, we get another graphic showing the AC in. And now the total output went to zero because it's a pass-through. It can operate as an uninterrupted power supply in your house. I think it's a 10 millisecond transfer time. And uh, what that means is if you're uh, typing into your word processor on your computer and the electricity goes out, you don't lose everything you just typed. Anyway... I'm finding this uh, to be very controllable. You can turn everything on and off, and it tells you what's coming in and what's going out. The app. And by the way, when I plugged into AC power to charge, I plugged into that green extension cord, and it's hooked up to my AFRI P210 over here in the corner, which powers my off-grid workshop. Actually, they're powered by the solar panels on the outside of the workshop wall there. And that means that the AFRI P280 is now being charged by the solar panels out there also. And in about uh, 15 minutes, it's up to 100%, still taking 180 watts. Says so it's going to be fully charged in one minute. AFRI powers my off-grid life. And speaking of my off-grid life, that new red... Ram ProMaster out there, it's going to be getting some AFRI power too. Okay, I've got the table saw plugged in to the 2800W AFRI power supply. I did one of these kind of tests before and I got comments that said, oh, it was a meaningless test because you didn't saw it under a load. You just showed that it would run. Well, let's see how this works. I'm going to saw a two before for you. Take that in your meaningless test. And what else would you need to know? The price, of course. Black Friday sales are coming. Check out the links below. You'll be amazed. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.